Good luck to you, sir. You can go back with the bailiff. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Parker might be here. you're funny. I'm getting there. Let's see. I'm in no hurry, Judge. I'm not like robust. <laughs> I probably don't want to know what you guys are saying. <laughs> Herbert Kane, <clears throat> 24 DCCR 1083. We were, we were in County Court 2 the other day, and it took literally 20 minutes. My good, literally 20 minutes. And I was doing rejection. He tried to say, I believe it. I'm going to get, get on Zoom and beat you. <laughs> so... I will approach the detective that plea. I said, by the way, Judge, Mr. Brock is on Zoom. She called his office to get on Zoom. That's funny. And he had to wait another time. All right, sir, are you Herbert Kane? Is your name Herbert Kane? Yes, and I'm going to take judicial notice in Mr. Kane's uh, file. Uh, Mr. Kane was evaluated for competency to stand trial by Dr. Rapon. I've received that report dated August 13th of 2024. Dr. Rapon made the finding that Mr. Kane is currently competent to stand trial. Is there any other evidence with regard to competency, Mr. Uh, Parker? No, you are. Ms. Molfino. Then at this time, I am going to find that Mr. Kane is competent to stand trial. Mr. Kane, you're charged by indictment with the offense of assault on a peace officer, and that is from April 3rd of 2024. And what that means is if you go to trial and a jury finds you guilty, the range of punishment is between two years and up to 20 years in prison. Do you understand what could happen if you go to trial and you're found guilty? I understand, but can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah, I got it. I guess approached for, for camping out, but I wasn't there overnight. I just came back from the store. So here's the thing. The, what happened surrounding this offense or what they've charged you with, that's information for your, your lawyer. And if for some reason you're not, if you believe you're not guilty, then that's what a jury's for. And we can let your case go to a jury. Um, that's what we're going through. So it looks like the state has made an offer if you wanted to enter a plea of guilty for a five-year term in prison. You have every right to reject that. Let a jury decide two things. The first is to decide if you're guilty or not. And then if they find you guilty, then they can decide what your punishment is. Do you understand? I understand, but as, as far as it being my first offense, I don't even get uh, it. Uh, here's offer. the thing. Well, here's the thing. The offer is I don't get involved in the negotiations. That's not part of my job. So the state has made their offer. If you want to take it, you can take it. If you don't, then you let a jury decide. And so I just want to make sure you understand if you go to a jury, what your options are today and what your consequences could be if you go in front of a jury. And your honor, I, I've, I've discussed these facts that he's concerned he's had with Mr. Uh, Nichols and explained to the situation after he's had evaluated up at the end to talk to about the offer and Mr. Offer, I mean, uh, Mr. Nichols has remained steadfast on the offer that he's made previous, which is the offer today. Okay. Just, just so that you're aware it's not his first offense, he was actually before you in 2018. Okay. So they think for burglary of a building, it sounds like. For the state jail felony was where mm -hmm. it was dismissed. I've gone over it. Okay. So it, it doesn't appear that it was dismissed. But I just want to make sure right now we're talking about this case. The offer is what the offer is from the district attorney's office. So you either take it or you go to jury trial. Look, regardless of that, that doesn't change. If even if you had it, it doesn't change the punishment in this one. OK, that can be figured out by your attorney very easily if you have one or not. So I just need to know if you want to take the five years on this case or if you want to go, let a jury decide. Ask her a question? No, you cannot ask her a question. I was trying to see if that was a felony or not. It's a state jail felony. Burglary of a building is what. Um, it was a, I'm sorry. Go it ahead. Was, it was a felony conviction with uh, county Both jail before. time. So he may misunderstand that he is already a convicted felon. Okay. So it sounds like you got a 1244, which means you got a state jail felony conviction 
but you did your time in the Jefferson County Jail. So you do have that state jail felony conviction, even though you did your time in the county jail. That's what the paperwork looks like. So that's 1244A. Mm -hmm. Okay, but from what I understood, it got dismissed. It, doesn't got get, it did not get dismissed. So 1244A is not uh, uh, reduced. It's where you do your punishment in county jail. And I, I go over all of that with anyone who's in front of me. So I'm sure I did the same with you. What I'm saying. It's a state jail felony conviction. But we're going to stop talking about that because it doesn't matter right uh, now. I, I was attempting to find out because I ended up going to Judge Green Woods for like that's for, misdemeanor court. Exactly for, for the reduction of that's listen. It doesn't matter. Whatever that prior is or is not does not matter on this case right now. This case that you're charged with. Second degree felony assault on a peace officer. The district attorney's office has made an offer of five years. Take it or go to trial. The prior is not what is enhancing you. It's not changing this. The offer is what the offer is. Do you want it or do you want to let a jury decide? Uh, how much bedtime? Well, I've, I've, I've discussed that with him this morning. Judge okay. has approximately 100 days. So you're, hang on a second. Joke. You're asking me questions that your attorney has already gone over. Mr. I, I listen, don't talk over, don't talk over me. School, listen, 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 and don't talk for a minute because I don't think you've been listening to Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker sounds like has explained everything to you. He's asked the clerk. She has figured out your time, how much credit you have. I don't know how much time he doesn't know how much time you would actually do on a five-year sentence because it depends on parole and good time and all of that and how you behave in prison. It's a five-year sentence. You would be eligible for parole after a quarter of it. That's all we can tell you. And he can tell you how much credit you have. But it's just eligibility for parole. We don't know when you're really going to make it. If you do, that's up to you and how you behave. I need to know if you want to take that or if you want to go to trial. So what do you want to do? So can I ask another question? Sure. So you said a quarter, a quarter of it would be eligible for parole. Mm -hmm. But he said I have a hundred, you know what I'm saying, hundred days. Yeah. Back time. So okay. I already did what like six months now and I got a hundred days back time. So here's the thing. I went to law school because I'm not good at math. I have no idea. Well, do the math. I don't know. I mean it's a quarter of five is about a year and Three quarters. Three, about a year and three months. So you know. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make sure. Well, I, I, I've we're not here for a math test. Do you want to take the deal or do you not want to take the deal? He asked me today, Judge, if he would get out if you took the deal. I said you would not get out no, today. No, yeah. you don't get out today. You've got to go get your number and do all the stuff. Mr. Parker's answered all this. i got other stuff to do. Do you want to take the deal or do you not want to take the deal? It's not going to be on the table after today. If you reject this offer today, I'll set your case for trial and this offer will be off the table. I want to make sure you understand that as well. I don't accept plea agreements once I put your case on the trial docket. So what do you want to do? You can say it's a trial. Okay. Uh, so we'll put your case. You understand that I'm not going to take this five-year deal and it's not going to get any better after today. You understand that, right? How could it not get better? Could because I'm telling you it's not going to get better. Okay. I'm not going to accept a plea agreement for less than five years after today because I don't play with my trial docket and just put cases on it. So somebody thinks, well, if I make it last a little longer, maybe I'll get a better deal later. This is your deal today. If you don't want this deal, that's fine. It's either going to have a jury decide, which is fine, or the deal is going to be higher, not lower. Do you understand? And I'm not doing this to just as for everybody on the trial docket. If you want a jury to decide, fine. You want the five years? Take it today because after today, five years is gone. What you want to do? Let's see. So you pretty much told me in so many words that you weren't going to allow me to beat my case. No, no, I'm oh. completely going to allow you to beat your case. If you want to take it to a jury, 100%, we're going to get it set for trial, and you'll be up for trial in a 
whenever the next available trial docket is. And a jury can decide if you're guilty or not. And if you're guilty, then they can sentence you to whatever they think is appropriate. So absolutely, I'm telling you that you can try to beat your case. I just want you to understand that if you want, if you think you're putting it on the trial docket to buy some time to get a better deal, and then you want to plead guilty later, that's not going to happen. Well, we're not negotiating, Mr. Kane. We're not negotiating. You and I aren't negotiating today. The negotiation's done. Do you want the five years or do you want a trial? You say the trial, the trial will be within like a year? I have no idea when it'll be. It'll be the initial. I mean, it just goes on the trial docket with everything else. And as soon as it comes up, if it's number one that day, it goes. Um, it depends on how old the cases are. It depends if somebody's in custody. It depends what type of case it is. So I can't guarantee you when your trial will be. I would like to think it would be, but. No, you know, a year or less, but I can't for sure tell you that. We're doing really good with moving trials, do the best we can, but it, I can't tell you for sure when that would be. Question, but one, one more question, and I'll let you know. On a brother, brother, on a, a we're not going back to that. Just let me know. We're not. No more. We're we're not going back to a burglary. Okay. Do you want the deal on this one, or do you want to go to trial? Do you want the deal on this one or do you want to go to trial? We're not talking about the other case again. What's it to do? All right. I'll hold it while y'all go. You need to do the paperwork with Mr. Parker this morning and then I'll take care of it in a few minutes. No, if you're not. No, no. If you plead not guilty, then you go to trial. You're either going to say you did it or you didn't do it. If you didn't do it, then we're going to set your case for trial. So we're going to put your case on the trial docket. And so, Mr. Kane, Mr. Parker has been appointed to represent you. He's one of the attorneys who handles a lot of cases for me as a court-appointed lawyer. Um, if, with your permission, I can release him and I can appoint another attorney today who can start getting ready for trial a little quicker. Is that okay with you? You're going to get who I give you. You're going to get whoever is on next up on the um, the list. So it's probably not going to be him. Okay, he's not on our list anymore. Yeah. All right. So is it, a, do you want to keep Mr. Parker or can I give you another attorney? Okay. Mr. Parker's released. We'll give you another attorney. You can go back with the bailiff.